What's up, uh, everybody? Hayden Wright here, Curated Expert. We had the chance to ski all the 2023 skis at Powder Mountain in Utah, and we're breaking them down into some categories, and we're giving you our top five favorite. This category is gonna be our top five favorite skis in the all-mountain carving category. And just so you guys know, all of us Curated Experts are unsponsored and unaffiliated with any of these brands, so they're completely unbiased opinions. We're just guys and gals that love skiing. Coming in at number five in our all mountain carving category is the Elon Ripstick 96 Black Editions. Elon says that this is a 96 underfoot all mountain ski, lightweight, and has amphibio technology, which means it has a left and right ski for a more smooth turn. If you love ripping turns, these things go edge to edge for a 96 underfoot ski, super easy. Elon's got carbon rods tip to tail just about, and that makes this thing responsive and burly crud busting and minimal chatter. If you end up catching some speed and you get into some rough stuff, these are gonna hold up for you. I'd recommend this ski for anybody that is intermediate to advanced. If you're a new skier, this could be a little bit intimidating and just too much ski with those carbon rods. Number four for our all mountain carving is the Vocal Mantra M6. The M6 Mantra is really a do it all, great all mountain ski. It holds an edge quite well and is a very versatile ski for most all snow conditions out there. The Vocal M6 Mantra was really fun to turn. It was very stable underfoot as well. The Taylor Tidinal frame, which is something right along the edge of the ski here, makes it so the ski does not chatter throughout the turn. I did get to catch some air today in the Vocal M6 Mantra. It felt extremely stable on any of my landings. I would definitely not recommend skiing switch on this ski. It is a directional ski. It does not have a full or partial twin. The Vocal M6 Mantra really is a well-built, all-mountain, hard charger. You can ski anything from groomers to trees to some fresh snow. I would not recommend skiing the big mountain lines or bigger cliffs or getting super gnarly on this ski. I would recommend these skis for anyone looking for an extremely stable and versatile all-mountain ski. These are really great and they were super fun today for me to ski in all types of different conditions. Coming in at number three for our all mountain carving skis, the Line Blade Optic 96s. The Line calls this ski a playful all mountain ski, and that's exactly what it is. It's solid at carving shorter to medium radius turns. It's super poppy. It's got a nice soft shovel, but it holds an edge through the turn. I would have loved this ski in February. It would have been a blast on those firm days because I still could have taken it in the trees, hit jumps, skied switch, buttered, nose presses, all of that. I would recommend these skis to advanced intermediate to expert skiers who sk like skiing with a relatively modern neutral stance. I would not recommend these skis to racers who really like to drive through the front of the boot through the ski. My overall impression on this ski is I had a blast on my several runs with it on a pretty icy powder mountain this morning. I would love to own a pair of these. I think that they cater really well to my style on firm days. If I go back east, I would absolutely get a pair. They're really fun. Coming in number two for all mountain carving, Faction Dancer 2.0s. The Dancer replaces the Dictator and as Faction states is this is just the all mountain crud busting, just jamming ski. Two razor thin sheets of Tetanol metal go out throughout the whole way of this ski paired with a wood core. It's burly, it wants to be rode hard and put away wet. This ski is stiff and does take a lot of work to actually have this ski work and carve the way it should. So be prepared for that. Not a negative at all. I had a ton of fun second run. Just took one run for me to adjust. Looking at the turning radius of this ski, it is 19 meters, which is a little surprising for me being 96 underfoot. Since it has a larger turning radius, it loves to make those long carving turns. With the two layers of metal, the ski does ski a little bit heavier. Um, so with that being known, if, uh, if you're not looking for that crud busting, you know, burly hard ski, uh, the Dancer 2.0 might not be for you, but again, that's okay. But if you are a hard charging groomer and all mountain lover, this ski would be amazing for you. Coming in at number one for all mountain carving skis, the Vocal Kendo 88s. Vocal calls the Kendo 88 a narrow all mountain ski. It has teton all throughout. 
and it is a stiff all-mountain charger. The Kendo 88 is very stable in the turn. It's a very damp ski that can handle a range of conditions, great in hard snow, good in soft snow, a little bit too stiff for super manky snow. I'd say these skis are ideal for groomed terrain in the east or uh, anything firmer in the west. They are a solid mogul ski for an expert mogul skier. I wouldn't recommend them necessarily for a intermediate mogul skier. This ski's got a medium 16 meter turn radius, so it is a solid carving ski, but I wouldn't call it a pure carver. It has a fairly stiff tip, so it's good for an expert skier in the bumps and great for an advanced to expert skier who likes skiing in groomers. Did your guys' skis make the list for our curated experts' top five favorite free ride skis? Drop a comment below, let us know. Also, if you guys want to see us review some skis, drop a comment of what skis you'd like to see any of the experts ride and review. If you're in the market for some new skis and aren't sure where to start, Curated is a great spot. You'll get mashed with myself, Sarah, or any of the other experts, and we'd love to get you onto the perfect set of skis.